What up? This is Swayze and you're, you're, if your ears are listening to this, if you are alive right now and you have made it to 2021, Savage, give me your, your, your. We did it, guys. We did it. And I apologize off top for taking five days, damn near six days off. I apologize. I was in Delaware. I went to a wedding. And it was beautiful. It was beautiful. See, I'm not a very emotional guy. But, oh, man, when they played that song. Y'all know that song? Y'all know that song? And in love with somebody When somebody loves you back Yo, y'all know that song? Y'all know that song? It's an OD. That shit came out before I was even thought of Oh! Yo! That warmed my cold heart And you know when you growing up in Gotham City you, you just develop a cold heart It happens You don't try to develop a cold heart It just happens that's why there's no Southern hospitality when it comes to New York City. Everybody's doing their own thing. Nobody got time for anyone. But to see black love in its final form is a beautiful sight, to say the least. But let's move past all of that mushy stuff because I know that's not what you guys came for. You're here for the bad news. And before I really get into it, I have to ask... You guys, a question. What's really going on with Famo Banger? Did he get shot or did he not get shot? Is he in critical condition or is he in stable condition? Like, what's going on right now? Did they blast Famo Banger or is this a troll? Is this a lie? Is this a cloud chase? Is this people spreading fake news? Like, what's going on right now? Because I don't know what... Bro, I've been off for damn near five to six days, bro. Five to six days. And like I said, I apologize. I apologize. I was spending time with family. I apologize. But I'm back. There's nothing on his Instagram. There's nothing on... Anybody that's close to him, Instagram, the only people who who said something about it a little bit is his ops. Who knows if that's a fact? Like, what's going on? Is Famo Benga shot? Yo, people was mistaking Famo Benga for um the dude that got killed that um hit Shorty with the um the machete and um and hit her dog with the machete. They was mistaken mistaking that um situation with Famo Benga. That wasn't that wasn't him. That wasn't Famo. So what what are we doing? What are we doing? I understand I'm supposed to be the reporter and give y'all what the facts is, but I honestly don't know. I'm just being honest. I don't know what's going on with him. I don't want none of the shows or the woos to die. I understand there's a war going on. I ain't rooting for niggas to die. Is he dead? Is he alive? Please give us an update. But I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't be surprised if Famo Benga is Gucci and this rumor just started flowing around and he just fell back and let the rumor spread. I wouldn't be surprised. But who knows what it really is. If Famo Benga was indeed shot, it is a very unfortunate situation and I hope he pulls through. And if he wasn't, I guess this is one of the biggest clout chasing moves I've ever seen. Also, I want to say rest in peace to MF Doom, a truly legendary figure. And please, all of you guys that's on the social medias talking about, y'all ain't never listen to MF Doom. Y'all ain't never listen to MF Doom. Y'all clout chasing. Y'all ain't never listen to MF Doom. Bro. It's not about y'all. It's not about you sitting there trying to stand up on your little soapbox, my nigga. If they want to pay respect, let them pay respect. Acting like a hoe. And another thing before I get into the news. I like Playboy Cardi's whole lot of red album. 
I do. I don't care about all of you other people out there talking about, yo, it's not good. It's not good. I don't care. I don't care what you're talking about. When you feel like this, can't nobody tell you shit. That's a fact. That's a fact. I understand if you don't feel like that, but that's a fact. I don't care if Playboy Cardi turned into a gay vampire on some Twilight type of time. I don't care. I'm rocking with the gay Playboy Cardi vampire. I'm cool with that. Let him be free and be happy. It is what it is. But let's get into the news because honestly, too much has been going on in Gotham City. Now, if you're from New York City, you know and you fully understand that we have rats and squirrels. Basically, furry rats. And at the end of the day, if a rat or a squirrel decides to turn on you and get crazy, there's nothing you can do about it. There's no rat or squirrel police. Not only will you possibly get mugged and your ears stomped together, but you just might get attacked by a Gotham City squirrel. I'm going to let you guys listen to this clip, and I'll be back. With my commentary. Some people living in a Queens neighborhood are afraid to leave their homes. Get this, there have been several aggressive squirrel attacks over the last few weeks. Mm. News 2's Hazel Sanchez spoke with some of the victims. Micheline Frederick is still bruised, her bite wounds healing after she was attacked by an aggressive squirrel one week ago. You hear oh, someone's no. bitten by a squirrel, you're like, okay, you got a little nip, what's the big deal? But this was, this was a and then they cage match, <laughs> and I lost. Frederick says the squirrel, yeah, totally unprovoked, went after her as she stood on the front stoop of her Regal Park Queens home on 65th Drive. She shared graphic photos. Nah, of that's We're too much. In the snow I'm gonna get the My fingers getting Wait, hold on, do they got ads go. on this? Eventually, it just stopped, and oh, there no. I was, a big bloody mess. This security camera image shows the squirrel latched on again. to her left hand. At least six of Frederick's neighbors have also been terrorized by. By a raging rodent, including Vanati Singh's family. They were recording a squirrel on their mailbox when it pounced. What? <laughs> These squirrels are aggressively going after people. Going after Singh's husband twice. He tried to climb up my leg. I was I was able to show him off the second the first time he uh, the second time was right here when I was trying to get in. Another oh, squirrel no. jumped on neighbor Leisha Wayne. And the squirrel and also bit her took arm. a patch of I his he hair off his head. Crazy. You see that? The victims say they've called the city for help. The New York City Department of Health says it's advised them to hire a state licensed trapper, which they have, but so far the traps remain empty. The Centers for Disease Control says small Smart rodents squirrels. like squirrels are almost never found to have rabies. So not knowing what's causing the squirrels aggressive behavior is what's concerning to many people who live here. I'm a little surprised that the city is not taking it a little more seriously considering how many people have been attacked. Frederick is getting called for rabies <laughs> as a precaution. She says it's a reminder that although squirrels are cute, they're still wild animals. In Rigo Park, Queens, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Well, there you have it, guys. Squirrels in New York City, Queens specifically, are out on the loose. Trying to take your life. And honestly, this is too much. We got to worry about stray bullets. We got to look both ways while walking across a one-way street. Because bullets ain't got no name. You just might get blasted all over the face. Some might even get in your hair. And females know how hard that is to get out. And with all of that going on, we have to worry about the woo and show squirrels that's taking over. Gotham City. But on a more serious note, it seems like somebody was going crazy with a machete in Brownsville. Now let's check this clip out and I'll be back with the girl. Now to a scary scene in Brooklyn, police have identified the machete-wielding suspect shot and killed by officers. Mm. They responded to reports of a man terrorizing the Brownsville neighborhood around 6 p.m. yesterday what? near Dumont Avenue and Strauss Street. Police say 18-year-old Samuel Lazaro slashed a woman and her dog. What? He was then shot and killed when police say he ran towards officers. Oh, officers no. gave commands to drop the machete. 
The suspect did not comply, and one officer discharged a single round, striking the suspect in the chest. Mm. Lazaro has no criminal history, we're told. His motive remains unclear. Both the woman and dog were treated for their injuries and are expected to recover. Thank God that they are in stable condition and expected to survive those wounds. Can you imagine a crazy person just walking down in Brownsville? decides to go crazy with a machete. I don't know anything deeper than that, and I'm not about to sit here and speculate. When it comes to New York City, there's a lot of people that are mentally ill roaming the streets, and that's a fact. And that's honestly a problem that we have to deal with when it comes to New York City. However, just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, a customer was shot during a Brooklyn robbery attempt within a deli. Now, I'm not going to show the video. No, I'm not. And you know what? I don't even know what YouTube wants anymore at this point. I don't know what they want. I feel like they're just playing a cruel game with me. Some videos, I don't, I, I look at it and I be like, there's no way that's getting monetized. And it got monetized. Then there's some videos that I look and I be like, well, there's nothing wrong with this. And it gets demonetized. It gets demonetized. And they wonder why. They wonder why YouTube K belongs to the streets. It doesn't belong to me. It belongs to the streets. We all going through it. We all going through it. YouTube K, Google K, nigga, big corporations K. Because they don't care about the little man. They don't give. Tooth. I'm not going to even do that because I want it to stay monetized. But I'm saying that to say this. I'm not showing the video. At the end of the day, the reports read, at 9.47 p.m., two unknown men entered the Four Seasons Deli, located at 335 Vernon Avenue, and approached a 27-year-old male customer. The first suspect pulled out a black firearm and demanded the customer's property. After a brief struggle, the suspect shot the firearm, booming the customer in his left hip. After that, the suspect fled the scene on foot, while the second suspect fled in a silver or gray Chrysler 300. Now, the victim was taken to Kings County Hospital, and he is fortunately in stable condition. Now the NYPD Crime Stoppers are looking for tips, but here's my tip. Pause. Bro, you gotta understand, niggas is already walking around with the blicky like it's no problem. Add on top of that that we have to wear masks at all times nowadays. We have to wear a mask at all times. Do you understand how comfortable Someone with the boomer is gonna feel when it comes to upping it anywhere at any given time. Cameras don't matter, bro. Surveillance footage doesn't matter, bro. We're all wearing masks. Niggas do not care to up it anywhere right now. They don't care. It doesn't matter. You don't know if somebody's walking into a store to rob it or if they're going in there to get some deodorant. You don't know. We all wear a mask. And if you're black and you're wearing a mask, you are suspect as hell. You're suspect. That's the harsh reality that we all have to deal with at this time. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about these situations and if you like the video don't forget to share subscribe to the channel if you're not already and make sure you hit that notification button but i'm off this listen i run up them pins may came with a plan to put all of the guys on please do not talk to me if it ain't money that fatty that breach or that lies on we got this honor we roll it and grab i'm high that should be so damn strong pass it to reese we gon' ping pong you talking how you should keep calm 
got my niggas here and we ain't never scared They say we moving like bone crusher He talking hot, then he gotta get got If I can't maneuver, then bro, cut ya Can't fuck around, all of my niggas Ready to die if it's my niggas You won't survive if it's my niggas You won't survive if it's my niggas